We recently did a creature feature about lights, and uh, Jake and I, we just got this fun book in the mail, Monsters of the Dungeon, from Kwood Publishing, and we're looking through this book, and what do you know? There's another blight. It's a new blight, it's called the Fright Blight, and uh, Jake and I got to talking, and we said, why don't we do a follow-up video? Let's talk about this new creature, and tell you all about what the Fright Blight does, and what makes it special. That's what we're doing. Josh, the Fright Blight. It's a scary creature, that's as the name would suggest. <laughs> but if, if you're new to this channel or, uh, you know, any Kaywood in general, Andrew Kaywood is the lead publisher for Kaywood Publishing. And he's been on some uh, videos that we've had in the past. We'll have some videos that you could look at at the end. But Josh, the Fright Blight, this one's a little beefier than some of the, the blights that we talked about in the last video. What, what do we got here? It's funny that you say it's scarier. Obviously, it's it's Fright is in the name, but it follows that path of the other blights, right? We have Twig, Needle, and Vine, each one stronger than the last. Fright Blight is right here with that. It's a CR1, making it the strongest of the Blights that we have. It's got an AC of 15, 39 hit points, and then it's got this, this ability. You know, in, in addition to the ones that you would already expect, right? Like it has some sort of bite attack, it has false appearance, which we, we already explained in the last video, but basically just means that they're hidden. When they're hidden, they're hidden, you can't find them. Frightening Glare, it's a pretty cool ability. It is. The Blight targets one creature within 30 feet. The target must make a successful DC-12 wisdom saving throw or become frightened for one minute. The creature can repeat its saving throw at the end of each of its turns. If a creature succeeds on their saving throw, they're immune to the glare from any Fright Blight for 24 hours. Josh, why don't we take a quick look at what the Frightened condition does. A Frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight, and the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Josh, you want to talk about some battlefield control? This could wreck uh, the player's plans. Yeah, it, it's really interesting because having a blight be as strong as it is and and have that that ability to to give you the frightened condition it almost makes an interesting encounter uh, of its own with just blights right like you can kind of have this yes. as your boss monster and use the other blights in conjunction with it the same way we were talking about in the last video now you you could also still use this as just something to add to um, a different encounter just be warned adding a fright blight is not the same thing as adding a few twig blights. <laughs> Definitely adding not. a fright blight. <laughs> this is something that you do when you you want to add, let's say, a complication. It's not just adding difficulty difficulty to the encounter. It, it changes things pretty dramatically. You know, you have your your big frontline fright uh, frontline fighter. You have your big frontline fighter. <laughs> maybe if they fail their save, they're a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's where we're getting, <laughs> yes. right? You know, maybe maybe they're up there, they're they're getting ready, and this is in between the fighter and the big bad. Now he's failed his save, she's failed to save, whatever they've failed their save, and suddenly they can't even get closer to the big bad because they can't get closer. <laughs> I just think of, I just think of Chewbacca going, no, I'm not going up there. <laughs> like it's not happening. It's like, come on, Chewie. We need you right now, pal. But um, I, yeah, I, I feel like in the context of our other video, we like to look at blights as minions. And this is definitely if you're gonna use it as a minion, it's it's a it's a bigger one. But mm -hmm. you can almost look at these as like a little mini layer actions, sort of, in yes. a way. It's not exactly the same, but if there's four of them, maybe one per each member of the, the party. You know, that's it's a DC 12 save. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but man, one bad roll or you're not proficient in wisdom saves or it could it could get dicey. The dice will decide. They will decide whether it gets dicey or not. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I totally agree, Jake, and I'm glad you said that for breaking the fourth wall here. That's not in our show notes, but that's exactly what I was thinking as layer actions that's really kind of what these mirror it's it's like its own creature with a layer action for your monster they have some fun lore too we're not going to get into that we're going to leave that as a surprise for you get the book check it out read the lore i will say that it's in the wilderness dungeons section of monsters of the dungeons and the only thing that we haven't mentioned is these do have sunlight sensitivity 
So it's not really going to affect that frightening glare. It's still significant. You know, none of the other blights have that. So worth noting. I get excited when I look at the Fright Blight and when I look at a lot of the creatures in this book. So we're definitely going to have to talk more about this book at another time. And maybe you'll see a Fright Blight in one of our games real soon. And that, if you want to use them. Oh, that would mean what? that we have to go against them. If hmm. okay. uh, yeah, well, I mean, hmm. maybe. All right. Somebody, sounds, somebody would have to. That sounds scary. Maybe it'll be um, on your side, you know. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what kind of encounter you would like to put a Fright Blight into. And if you haven't checked out our other creature feature that we did on Blights, click the video and, uh, and watch it. That was a fun one.